Well, as we know, we live in a proud military town, and this morning we are helping our heroes during the holidays. CBS 8 is joining the Warrior Foundation Freedom Station, AM 760, and iHeartRadio for our annual Giveathon. And News 8's Chris Groh live in South Park with how you can make a big difference here this morning. This money goes a long way, Chris. It goes a long way for the Warrior Foundation, and the phone lines are open right now. So now is your chance to call and to help us understand a little bit more about what the Warrior Foundation does each and every day is the founder and CEO of the Warrior Foundation, Sandy Lemkuller. And, and Sandy, what an amazing day. A lot of excitement here right now for all of the work that you guys do each and every day. I saw that we've already got a total up here from a lot of the money already raised. Where are we at right now? We're at five hundred and sixty thousand dollars amazing i they just put that on and i'm just amazed by it so yes this is the most exciting day of the year for all of us and we are raising funds to send our warriors home to wake up in their own beds in their own states with their own families for christmas mm -hmm. and so we're starting out a little bit here it comes it's i was just starting. gonna say that's the first phone um, call right it's yeah. starting out a little <laughs> early this year because yeah. we have to take a little bit more time to get everybody on airplane planes and home safely mm -hmm. and we're going to make it happen. The answer is going to be we're going to get to yes today <laughs> for our San Diego Warriors. And Warrior Foundation has been doing this with um, 760 AM and Channel 8 since 2004. And every one of our Warriors gets to go home. And you know what? That helps not only the Warrior, but it helps the family that he goes home mm -hmm. to. And particular with this year and all of the excitement we've been having um, we're gonna make that happen and make it happen safely and it's really amazing too to see all of the work that you guys have done because this is Freedom Station 2 uh, and, and to know of where you guys have come from from Freedom Station 1 to Freedom Station 2 housing a lot of these veterans that are coming home helping them readjust to life becoming a Mr. and a Mrs., uh, as, as we heard Greg uh, point out to us earlier, readjusting to civilian life. Uh, what does that mean to you to see some of um, the people who have gone through the Warrior Foundation, through Freedom Station, who used to live here and, and have gone on to do a lot of successful things? Well, I'm very prideful of our warriors because not only have they recovered, some of them for more than two years up at the hospital, but they've moved into Freedom Station um, before they get out of the military. So they're yeah. still on active duty when they move in and they now are transitioning and getting jobs, going to school, getting out of the leaving us, yeah. getting married, having children, and they're going to be incredible, incredible citizens of the San Diego area, as if they weren't already being Purple Hearts and Marines and Sailors that have done so much for our country. And we're going to see that number go up, right? Oh, yes, we we're hoping it'll go up. Please, you know what it's like to be with your family. Please help us send our warriors home. These are our guys in the southwestern region. So let's get them home for the holidays. Thank you so much. And I, I don't hear any phones ringing. <laughs> we'll get them ringing. We'll get them ringing, Sandy. Thank you so much for joining us this morning for all the work that you do here at the Warrior Foundation.